Good morning, everyone. I hope you all are staying safe and staying at home. I would like to go through some important things on this website so that your navigation will be a little easier. So when you log on, you will always see this post pinned at the top. And every day it's important that you read it carefully. So you open it up and read it properly. And it would be nice if you could make a little comment so that I would know that you have read it. One of the first things you need to know is that when I load activities on this page, the first activity that I would load is at the bottom. So, so therefore the last activity would be at the top. So it would be nice if you scroll down to the bottom and um, start from there. I think most of you have gotten that, which is great. I think you all are having fun and I like that. So let's just go through some of the things that um, I would like you to pay attention to in order to get the full value of everything. <clears throat> so let's take this, um, this activity. It's a revision activity of nouns. You click on it and it opens up. Now you would see on the left here, you would see all the subtopics of nouns. After you finish this one, so let's click play. If the noun, oh, the lovely. And it continues. Cool. And, and when you are done, you can go to practice the nouns. And these are very important exercises to, to make sure that you fully understand. And then you can do the problems and then you can click check. You can do them as many times as you like. If for some reason you're having difficulty, click here to watch the video again. And you can do this as many times as you like. Please bear in mind there are no deadlines. You can work at your own pace. It's not a race. To finish first. So bear these things in mind. And the next lesson would be introduction to plural nouns. And you click there and you go through. My internet is a little slow this morning. Hello, so grammarians. Let's me. talk about sing. When you're finished, you can see types of nouns. You click on that and you will go through types of nouns. We have done all of these in class, so this is just a review. Common and a proper noun. When you are finished with that, you need to go to irregular plural nouns, and you go through each one. Now this takes time. Hello, grammarians. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about... This takes time, and to get the full benefit, you need to go through all the videos and all of the practice tests. Then we have irregular ones. And this brings so when you are finished. Hello, today, grammarians. Welcome this brings to us to the end of revision of nouns. It's not just the first one. So please bear that in mind. As we scroll up, <clears throat> now here is a reading lesson, and I want to go through this with you. Because I want to make sure everyone's getting the full benefit of this technology. So when you get to the page, when the page opens up, you go to the top and you click on Immersive Reader. This is very exciting in the technology field in that you can, when you play, press play, it's being narrated. Dolphins like so. are mammals and are incredibly intelligent. There has been a strange bond between... At any point, and you can read. 
you can do it as many times as you like. If for some reason you find that the narrator is speaking too slowly or too fast, or you want a, you want a male or a female, you click here and you can adjust the voice speed. You can click male or female, and then you can move on. So let's, let's click male and let's see if it goes. Humans and dolphins that stretches back for thousands of years. And you can do this as many times as you like, and you can practice your reading. So that was something exciting I wanted to show you. I think you all really, really love this um, marine pollution, and um, that was a really good response, and I, was, I really enjoyed interacting with you all with that. See if you all can um, make comments on each other's um, comments. So if your friend said something that you found interesting, um, you can also make a comment and have a discussion about it. So the same thing with math. It's from the same um, people called the Khan Academy, and they are very, very good with tutorials. And um, you have to go through each one. When you get to the bottom, um, well, this topic is for the next, this is the next topic. But you need, you, for this place value, you needed to go through each one, not just this one. And like I said before, there is no race. You can do it at your own pace. Just keep be doing it consistently. Um, the math games, I think you all have gotten it. Um, all of these games. I'll see if I can load some more games. Um, here is a dictionary, a link to a dictionary that you where you can um, type in your word here. Let's see if we can put in a word like immediately, which we have done before. You click on go. So they tell you exactly how to say the word if you click on this little icon here. They're supposed to, you're supposed to hear it. For some reason, I'm not hearing it. Maybe my settings are wrong. As you can see, it's also syllabicated for you immediately. Um, and it also gives you the meaning of it. So this is one way of um, looking up words that you don't know, words you might have met. And, and it's just really, really easy. Here's another game, you can practice, have fun. This was the, the pin of the first thing that you would have seen um, on the first day. Um, it would be nice if you can go back and put a little message so that I will know that you, know, you, you are here and you are doing the work. Um, This video is a story that um, touches your heart and um, it teaches you a lot of morals and it's really, really good for um, learning about stories and how they're being told because when you're writing, um, it also helps you in terms of how you can sequence your creative writing. So it helps you with that as well. The problem solving for the day, feel free to put your answers, post your answers. Um, try not to copy anyone else's answers. And um, at the end of the day, I will post the solution. Please pay attention to details. And Try to look for the pattern. So today I'm going to post one similar to the last two days. Let's see if we can 
apply what we've learned so far in the last two days. This is one I need to go through with you. And um, so here is when you, you look at the video. And then after looking at it, you come here and you click on think. And there are questions. There are actually six questions to make you think. When you are finished with that, you click on dig deeper. And it actually um, gives you more information to think about things. Each one of these red um, highlights is a link. So if you're not sure what it's about, you can click on it. And it tells you a little bit more about it. And then you can go here and you can discuss with students all around the world like i said my internet is a bit um is a bit slow this morning um so just bear with me so these are all of the um other activities for the video that you can do i think this one was very straightforward where you just practice your sight words um, so these, I do need to, um, go through Okay, so let's do social studies, this one So this is a course I had created, um, last year for my last class Um, these are this is a topic for next term, so you can get started on that. This is the Caribbean Islands, which is revision. Indian Arrival Day and Eid al Fitr are two celebrations for next term. So let's click on the Caribbean Islands, which is like a revision. And here you have a map of the Caribbean and each one of these links these highlights gives you more information about the country and what we've been learning about their flags and so let's do one let's do well actually let's do Jamaica so here you have a video you can look at about Jamaica um, if you click here you would see the flag so it's a good revision you know to get to know some of the music um, this is Bob Molly. He's one of my favorite artists of all time. And um, you can get to listen to him here. All right. So this gives you an idea of what you can do on this map. Um, Pay, pay close attention to the proximity of different Caribbean islands to each other. Um, you can also take a look at the Greater Antilles and the Lesser Antilles. And here you can see that Guyana is part of the West Indies. Um, some people say they're part of the Caribbean, but they're actually part of the West Indies because the Caribbean is just these, this archipelago of islands. So um, here's a little quiz that I had done for, so you can do that and see how it goes. Um, Indian Arrival Day, let's just take a quick look. So you need to go through all of them. It's not just the one. Each one of these here is a link. And if you click on them, you might get more information. So here's a link with different um, pictures to show you what our ancestors were like and what they look like and the conditions that they had to undergo. If you need to make notes in your copy books, you can feel free to do that, though it's not mandatory. So um, this is just, I just wanted to show you that 
just to make sure that you are not going through all of the activities and not just the first one that you see. So here's some vocabulary. Um, let's do some synonyms. So you look at the video and here's a little game that I um, game that I had set up where you can um, look at the word and then click on it and it gives you a synonym and you're supposed to like go through and it helps you to remember. Um, and here's a little um, assessment. If I remember correctly, these words, this actually list is on the standard four list. Um, it was prepared to, to give students um, some words that they will be encountering in um, standard four. So it's, a, so it's, it's good practice to learn. Also, while we are doing this, um, it's also a good time during this lockdown to, um, to learn your tables. <clears throat> Excuse me. To learn your tables, uh, many of you need to, to really, really sit down and learn your tables. And this is a good time to do that. Um, okay, so this one... When you open it up, it's called an interactive video where at certain points, all of these points on the timeline of the video, it will actually stop and you have to answer questions. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Let's give it a try. Let me just fast forward it a little bit. And the boy loved the tree very much. And the tree was happy. So now it's stopped. And then here are the questions that you have to, to do. You can either rewatch. So I'm just clicking on an answer. And you go through all the answers and then they will tell you at the end if you got them correct or not. But if you didn't, you could always rewatch it. And if you don't feel like doing the questions, which I really don't recommend, you can skip it. So this is what you call an interactive video. It sort of assesses your understanding while the video is going on, which is great. So here we come to how to draw the tree. Now, a lot of people were getting difficulty in posting their tree. So this is what you do. You, let's say I'm going to make a comment. I put my cursor here and you will see two gray boxes. The one on the left, you click on it and then you wherever you have your, um, your picture, you can just click on it and wait for it to load and then you click comment. And there it comes. That's how you post it. So I hope that clears up how to post that if you're having difficulty. I noticed Soraya posted hers on top. She probably needed some help. So this is how you um, do that. So I'm going to delete mine here. And this is just a workout video. It's supposed to be a little fun, you know, a little fun activity to do at home. And um, so I really hope that you're having fun. And um, please try to bear, to, to bear in mind that um, uh, you need to be respectful and you need to be honest about um, your activities on the space. So um, with that, um, have a great day and stay safe, everyone.